po- not popular one, but um, we know CCU could play it well. So, yeah, this could be interesting going into this. Absolutely. <clears throat> it's interesting to be waiting on this map. I think they're taking a bit of a break. Um, I think, yeah, I, I would expect to see Junkertown here because we've seen CSU be comfortable there, but I could also see them not wanting to go to something that long range. Yeah, and you see on uh, either side, we see them absolutely dominate long range, um, whether it be with the Far Mercy or whether it be with... Uh... Uh, well, I mean, that's honestly all it's been. It's just mainly their, the power of their Far Mercy. Them enabling them with their tank and with uh, the rest of their team has just been very, very effective. Um, but CSU has come in together, and I think they are able to um, make some sort of impact going into this. Absolutely. I don't have anything to say about this one. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, this one, this could be interesting. We saw CSU um, do the uh, unthinkable on this map. They did rather well going into it. It just, uh, um, it's going to take a decent amount of effort going into this first, uh, this last point, this potential last one. I, I don't think it'll be this, but it could be something interesting. Absolutely. I think CSU right now is just in a circumstance of like the the pressure is getting on. You're you're in a little bit of the stress. I would assume you're probably pretty stressed out given the last two rounds. You've been playing to the best of your ability and just narrowly having it uh, not be able to pull through. Yeah, these nail biters are really they they really could just tug on the stamina for a little bit of uh CSU and uh you know if they're um if they're not uh careful on the side of uh uh Murray State we could see a you know reverse sweep Absolutely. on the side of CSU we've seen it happen before so yeah, we get to see the um what wouldn't was most obvious on the side of CSU. We get to see the Sigma and the um, Timelancer on the Zen, one of his more comfortable characters, if not one of his most comfortable. Um, yeah, you see the Far Mercy roll out yet again onto this. So, yeah, this, this is the. This could be very interesting on either side. Absolutely. I think CSU's. <clears throat> 
uh, current team makeup is definitely a lot better suited to handle things like that Fire of Mercy, just given by the fact that Glyph, Land, and I'd even say Kakarot can probably be doing some pretty da uh, serious damage to the uh, Far of Mercy. Um, <clears throat> Farmers are going down almost instantaneously to the res grot as well. Be able to fiend out those red, uh, revives is, su is such a strong thing to do, just given the fact of like uh, being able to bring a someone back without making them have to roll out is such a strong tempo advantage. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you see Winner go down almost instantly, the rock going down as well. Ah, yeah, that was an amazing play by the far there. Whooping Winner off and just taking that high ground for herself. That was really, really smart on her end. Absolutely. CSU taking a little bit of a down here. I think they should be fine. Um, if they can just get that rollout back. Ooh, getting picked off by that far mercy. Not where you want to be, but at the same time... Yeah. We're just going to see a lot of this play until CSU can start shutting it down. I honestly wouldn't even think that something like a more aggressive uh, counter to this would be um, a bad idea. Like, honestly, I think you could pull out a sniper at this point. Um, albeit, like, I think it's definitely contentious, but at the same time, they are literally denying you any sort of gameplay. Uh, this Far Mercy has sort of dominated the entirety of this round. Yeah, and then with the farmers, you're taking so much space, you see um, the tank able to, because usually that's the tank's job, right? And yeah. the, the, the tank is just not able to, the tank on either side on CSU and on the side of uh, um, uh, Murray State, the Murray State's tank is able to just flourish and just take as much space as they want with their FARC sort of uh, counteracting that in a way. Um, <laughs> A switch to the Wrecking Ball on the end of CSU. Um, interesting. I don't think I've seen um, Winter on Wrecking Ball before. Um, Something similar happened on Shambali that we don't like to talk about it anymore. Um, but maybe it's just sort of a last ditch effort to make something happen but i i genuinely don't know this this isn't looking good for the yeah, vikings here it's not a great position to be in i think i think csu probably can make the push uh but having to contend with the far mercy is such a hard thing to do um Like right now, CSU can't even get out of their spawn. This could be really dangerous. Winter is trying to get uh, leverage back up, but it's really hard to take those like tank 1v1s uh, when you're not really able to have everyone just sort of take their respective role out. Um, and it's a little bit... It's a little bit rough here, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm just wondering wanting to tank himself and just pressuring him out, but you see the res maybe. Diamonds are yet again with another pick there. He's going absolutely ballistic himself. He says, I will not get held here. Just trying to pull out those last stands. It's uh, wow. Zen is legendary, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. CSU not giving it up just yet, even if they do have to hold this for, I think it's four minutes, five minutes, a decently long time. But I think CSU definitely has uh, the skills to take it if they really, really have to. Yeah. Ironically enough, I feel like this is the um, hardest part for AFAR Mercy to push into this final point here um, with it being indoors and like, yeah, we get to see... Um, are players that uh focus a lot more down like the like chokes and things like that flourish here like uh like our uh like time monster and uh jacob land of course um i think at this point you could can say i you know we know ty for playing both healers and uh tanks but i think right now ty's kind of uh putting on the damage here just sort of <laughs> playing a bit of that uh a little for a little bit of shenanigans but i think they're working out really well of just like you you're you're looking out for the day the dps is here you're not looking for time monster just sort of uh making zenyana look like uh a damage character 
Yeah, absolutely. Especially not. That's the last character you uh, think to pick, or you think to see uh, do so much damage. Or you see the far go down. That's a really, really good pick here. A um, lot of added space there with that uh, uh, dead eye there, but not able to find as much. That uh, far going down to see the little bit of a support duel in the back there. Far not respecting the one v one. Yeah, I think uh, there's like once uh, people were starting to try and hunt down. Um, Time Monster got a little bit rough. Yeah, it really just fell apart there, unfortunately. That Discord Orb is really, really good for target focus and getting people down. Maybe not. Nah, just able to shave off a couple bit, a little bit of time there. And Time Monster there for the contest there with the Transcendence. Uh, Jacob Lynn with the pick there. Just trying to find something. Sigma in his yeah. face gets the pick there. Could be winnable. It Ooh. absolutely is. in CSU clutching it out. Time Monster with the two there. Wow! Oh, really taking it to the two minutes. Uh, CSU holding on to this so for much dear time. Life. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I thought this this was looking over on the side of CSU, but them they just shaving off so much time. They're looking very good going into this uh, final point here, holding on. Yeah, like you said, holding on for dear life. I think once CSU can stop having to like contend with this far of mercy, they're at a way better circumstance. I think just like right now it's such a wrench in their plans um see winner get out mostly unscathed that's the wrecking ball um which is yeah a very unorthodox pick like you said earlier but um we're very, seeing very, off very very yeah very very well um which is good to see because i know winner um he likes his comfort picks and he likes to use them quite well so seeing him flourish on a character like this that he's not particularly used to makes me rather happy nano on the uh, on the uh Farah here a little bit scary i'd say uh but if you can just sort of wait that out or never mind it's over uh just being able to survive through that is a huge thing um Ooh, that's gonna be far that out. Is, that's yeah, forward. not exactly the best there. Land getting a good pick there. Ah, oh, gets forced out by that there. And that's gonna be. And the res comes out, almost negating it. And yeah, they're gonna take it there, bringing it down to a minute fifty-two there. That's really, really good on the side of CSU. An amazing hold, all things considered. That was like a two to three minute hold. Yeah. Um, bringing it down to a minute and sees you if I was them I'd be proud they could absolutely. definitely make this happen here. This isn't over I mean, Absolutely. No, not at all I, I think it's definitely a little bit of a sticky situation, but at the same time I think CSU's absolutely a team that can win these kinds of things Are you sticking with the ball comp already? Ooh, we're gonna see a Farah on the end of Glyph, probably trying to counter. But no, I I'm wondering if we're gonna see like uh, Glyph just have the um, orb uh, put onto him and then just sort of played from there. Um, I think that they might have been considering it, but. I think the power of the Discord orb has just been very, very well um, used on the side of CSU here. So I think we'll be running with that. And we're going to see a very interesting comp, um, mostly mobile, um, with Glyph and Lane kind of holding the uh, ground and holding their uh, area there with uh, Winter sort of just making moves on the back line here. Yeah, Winter just sort of playing a little bit of Super Monkey Ball here. Um... Just, I think Wrecking Ball is such an interesting tank of, you don't play Wrecking Ball like any other tank in this game. You have to play like this weird, like like what, like we've, what we've seen from uh, Winter, just like this weird flanky sort of play style. Um, kind of knocking people out of position, focusing them down, like that auto was so low, only they capitalized just a little bit sooner they would have had something, um, but um, doesn't seem to find anything there. Absolutely. I think I would say normally the weakest, like the big problem with having to deal with a wrecking ball, uh, like on your team, would be the end of ending up with the fact of like a lot of times Winter isn't going to be there to be that anchor for the entire team to like uh, rally around. 
But at the same time, I think CSU is so strong at being able to play that game regardless that they don't lose as much as other teams would from that, although that pin is a little bit dangerous. Yeah, it's hard to react to that sometimes with the fade there. Um, and yeah, just Kakron getting caught there in that uh, choke. Yeah. See, Winter just continue to play this sort of uh, poking game, using that gravel to just sort of fling around, trying to go for a pile driver, not quite going to work. Uh, we're going to see CSU getting... Uh, ooh, that's going to be a nano boost on the uh, Farah, which is a little bit scary, to be honest. Um, which is the time in a precarious situation there with their movement in the... Um boosted scenarios so they didn't find much there but they're just stacking up bolts going into this and yeah they're just holding um and they have all the time in the world to do so csu not really making a lot happen they have two yeah. minutes on the clock um they need something they need something ladies and gentlemen i think if they can get a good position to go for this dead eye it might be useful given the fact that i don't aside from like debatably valkyrie uh and then earth shatter i don't think murray has a ton of very good defensive ultimates like we, wow and we get to see that just go almost instantaneous uh even with the good picks there it, it just didn't seem to matter to um them especially with the shutdown of the mines just the barrage on jacob yeah. and the uh cl the barrage just cleaning up the rest of the mines this this is just rough unfortunately not where you want to be as csu i think holding on land might need to pull out the secret sauce for this one yeah we're gonna <laughs> we might need to see a jacob land classic going on to this oh and that's not what that's you want to see oh no uh, but that's a good counter pick maybe there oh that's so unfortunate yeah you need to see the switch to the lucio there hopefully trying to make amends with this with some sort of brawl um but it's looking rough for CSU. Not they're not out, but it, it is just looking tough. I, I would not. I don't like where I I am if I'm CSU here. Yeah, taking some sort of an aggressive approach here. Far does not have barrage, so they're not entirely. Um, and yeah, we get to see them just doing some absolutely silly things going into this, getting the pick there. It, it silly works, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if it, anything works, it's it, it's silly. They just got, they gotta believe in it. They gotta believe in the heart of the bit. Absolutely, and the, with the three on, maybe we get to see them wrap around this corner here, and you yeah, know, see Winner just taking some aggressive space there. Um, Lolt's building on either side. Um, CC with the one, and uh, Murray with the two coming on here, forcing out the space there with the dead eye. Um, gonna be tough to peek there. Peek there. It's not gonna get anyone, which is the important part. Uh, but CSU is stuck on overtime. That's an uh, uh, anti heal grenade from. Uh... Nano boost comes Ooh. out. That is so unfortunate there. Yeah, it's really hard to play into that. With the trade, but the far hold really just evening this game out. And unfortunate. Absolutely. <sighs> yeah. CSU Mer just getting Rio. That, 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 that was rough. It, it, that was it, rough. Very, very rough. I think like Murray just had everything they needed at every instance, and they just knew how to use the resources. Uh, yeah, I don't think CSU played particularly poorly. I just think Mur uh, Murray played particularly well. Um, yeah. like we, we saw three minute holds from CSU. I don't think you can call that particularly bad, but at the same time, you're in the circumstance of you have to play into that strong of play. Yeah, and the thing of it is, it's like when, when you're playing up against um, certain things in Overwatch that aren't particularly um, like like meta divining and aren't like just unorthodox things that you know, I might, might not be prepared for, it, it is tough. Yeah, you Absolutely. know, like definitely not something you want to see going into the playoff season. But hey, CSU is in the regardless and they are in good shape. Um, we hopefully will see them bounce back from this when they'll start. But other than that, um, I've been Vanguard S plus VGS plus draw, whatever the heck you want to call me. Um, I've been Silate, and this has been a wonder to be able to be here for this season. Uh, unless you've got any uh, closing comments, I think we might be heading out. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you guys so much for the watching and supporting CSU as always.
Um, you know, um, you win some, you lose some. CSU is still looking great this season. Um, it happens. Um, even gods bleed sometimes, and I'm I'm proud of them regardless. They put up a good yes, show today. Absolutely. Regardless, we saw some great Overwatch. That's what's most important. We saw good Overwatch today. Absolutely. Uh, thank you all for your time, and have a great night. Yeah, thank you guys so much.